Welcome to the island of San Miguel. We are in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean and today we are going to hike the Seven Cities Loop. It's 12 and a half miles and 2,500 feet of elevation gain. Let's show you how we got here. We're getting ready to go out for a hike, but I need you to hear what we have heard every morning. That is literally what we keep waking up to. And I love it. The day begins. We have to go switch out our car because it doesn't lock. It doesn't like to start either. <laughs> I think that's user error, but let's see how it goes. Yeah, I think that was me. I think they uh, put them on like a leash so that they eat that spot and then they move them. Mm -hmm. Wow, look how much grass they eat. In case it's not obvious, you'll be seeing a lot of cows this week. Wow. You've got to be kidding me. So sad, it's a little misty and cloudy today, but that's how it's going to be every day we are here, so got to work with what we got. Oh my lanta. I think this is the most peaceful place I've ever seen. Just your average car dealership. We just got a way cuter car. Still automatic. Boo. This looks like a trail hide if I've ever seen one. Uh -huh. Yeah. Let the fun begin. Yeah. You gonna carry my water? I know you want to. You're so good to me. Look at that. Yeah, because if I didn't care, you'd probably just leave it here and just complain about how thirsty you were for 12 miles. And I'd just pass out from dehydration. You would, because you're stubborn. <sighs> you ready? For reference, we are staying in this area and we drove an hour. We're going to hike around these two lakes today. Starts here. I don't care which direction we go. Do you want to go clockwise or? All right. Well, I guess we'll decide in a minute. Uh, but we go all the way around and then we actually have to take this road back. And that's all I know, because the sign's in Portuguese. I thought, or maybe it was just more of a hope, that this island would be a little bit more tropical and have some nice weather. Whoa. But it's really not too bad. It's about 60 degrees out, perfect hiking weather, not too hot. And we have not hiked like this in months, so. We're 30 seconds in. There is a dirt path leading this way. But a street going that way, I don't know <laughs> which direction to go. There's a dirt road right up there. Yeah, I think that's, uh, let's head that direction. So we're taking the road? Yep. This aqueduct was ordered to be built in the 1500s. Everything is so fresh. I've missed this so much. You really can't beat trails where you're 100 feet into it and you already see something that cool. Just beyond the sketchy abandoned building with a mattress, you've got the steepest road I've ever seen. And unfortunately, according to the couple that we passed before we got up here, they said, go down this old logging road and then there's another paved road that you have to walk. Don't worry, you'll see it. Well, we see it all right. The trail markers have a yellow and red line that are not crossed. There is a driveway right there, but those lines cross. And there's one post way up there, which means we for sure have to go this way. Wow. <laughs> We've driven all over the United States and then been to quite a few countries and we always kind of keep an eye out on what is our ideal place to live and this one checks all the boxes. It's so peaceful. Look at that. I'm not really sure how it gets better than this, honestly. You see what is on this side, but look what's in front of us. 
just seems like a peaceful, idyllic life and not overrun by tourists or corporations or anything like that. We're four kilometers in and you can definitely still drive all the way up here. You don't have to hike it if you don't want to or if you can't. This wouldn't be a proper Sosa's at Sunrise hike if we didn't show you our trail snacks. Little baby banana. Every single one of them just seems so at peace. It's the end of February and it's 60 degrees out today. There has been a lot of overcast in the weather, so I think we kind of got lucky today. But I think February is probably a really good time to come because you're not going to deal with a ton of other people. Pretty relaxing knowing that there's no animals on the island that can eat us. Makes the hiking just that much more enjoyable. I'm not worried about a thing out here. Except maybe a sunburn. I'm gonna do a three and a half mile update. This is your view the entire time. You're just circling the lake. This is great. So you found a buffet for us to go to tonight? Yes, I don't know what time it ends, but either way it should be a good dinner if we don't make the buffet. There's also some hot springs that I want to check out. I don't know if we'll have time tonight, maybe tomorrow. This place is like Crater Lake, but a million times better. And we do mean a million. No offense to Crater Lake. It's just clearly different. They don't have the beautiful little town at the bottom or the grazing cows all the way around. A little ways back, we finally passed a car that drove all the way up here and then we finally met up with them. There's two guys that are about to like paraglide or windsurf, I don't, I don't know the term, but they're literally gonna jump off of the ledge over here. Maybe go into town? I don't know, but I hope I catch it because it looks like it'll be a lot of fun and I wish I could go with them. Happiest cows in the world. You cannot make this stuff up. We were just talking like, okay, we really need to eat our lunch. It's probably going bad sitting in his backpack and we're hungry, it's the halfway point. But as we were walking, we're like, nah, this isn't like the best spot. Let's find a good spot. And then... Are you kidding me? Just look at that. That's the name of this lookout in case anyone else wants to come up here. Other than the view, the coolest part about this trail to me is the ginger. This is ginger that you eat. It covers everything. It's all along the road. It's the most ginger I've ever seen. Can't stop looking at it. These are the most amazing green rolling hills I've ever seen. They're terraced. There's cows. It's like a... I, I'm, in the, I'm, I'm speechless. <laughs> That's insane. Yes! We said it was gonna happen. These guys had some massive backpacks and they were right on like the steepest part. You knew they were gonna jump, but we just didn't know how to ask. Like, you, you're gonna go over that ledge? Yup. How cool! 
This is one of those places where you just try to absorb as much of it as you can while you're here. I mean, we try to do that every day, but I just never knew that this existed. I knew about the island, but I had no idea. Not a clue that this is what the Azores was. We were told by more than one person that we made a mistake by not going to the island of Flores. It has the most natural beauty, or the, the best natural beauty. I don't know how it gets better than this, but uh, I hope to come back and see Flora someday. I got a fever, and the only prescription is more cowbell. I'll admit I don't know that one. What? I'm sorry. What's that from? SNL. Oh, honey, I don't watch SNL. Seem to be a little turned around. But what's a nice long hike without getting lost? Cowbells are back that way. Can't decide if we want to go this way or this way. One might take us down into town, but we think we want to stay up on the ridge to get around the rest of the lake and back to our car. What I love most about this entire island is the lack of hotels. You have this beautiful lake with mountains and pastures, and there are like no homes. You don't see tons and tons of structures of any kind. But you can still get McDonald's in town. We wouldn't know that from experience or anything. We knew we were gonna have to walk on the road for a short while, and this is the first trail marker we've seen in like two miles. We made it. We're roughly around mile nine, and we're finally starting to feel a little tired, feet are starting to hurt. It's been a very long time since we've hiked like this. I think we did pretty good, but we're not back yet. And then another oh. tiny little town. That's awesome. I do want to say that you can backcountry camp out here. So if you have the opportunity, take that. It's gonna be close whether we get back to the car in daylight or not. Wow. We literally started somewhere over there, walked the ridge all the way around, got down to the street over there, and made our way here. We both unanimously agree you should still hike this counterclockwise, but be warned, the last couple miles are more a pill than the start, which is not always fun when you're on mile nine or 10. According to Nathan's watch, we're just shy of mile 12 and we are not anywhere near the car yet. We're both losing steam pretty fast and I'm really not sure we'll make it back before dark. Still proud of all we've accomplished though today. I think we did pretty good. He's been telling me not to film this last little bit of the trail because we need to get back to the car before dark. I don't know where he went. Nathan! Where'd you go? I said look at that. Look at what? There was, did you want to see it? I guess, I thought we were in a rush. I mean, yeah, but when you see something like that, you stop. There's a bottle tied to a string, tied to a tree out here with little pieces of paper rolled up in it. I have found things like this before and you open it and it's like a geocache or something. So I took it out, signed my name, dated it, put it back. If you find that, let us know and we'll send you something. Yeah. We put something in a tea kettle in Death Valley and nobody found it. I don't know if they removed it before anybody did, but still waiting on that one. Yeah. Seriously, let us know if you ever find things that we've like signed anywhere in the world. Oh. A little bottle tied to a tree. Wow. You signed it? Signed it. Good for you. 
Okay. There's only two other things on there. Um, one of them said there was like a team name or something. And then there was some initials and that was it. And there was a bunch of little pieces of paper. So I hope I didn't mess up someone's game or something. What do you know about this building? Um, absolutely nothing. That it looks abandoned and it's a point of interest on the map. Looks like this was possibly a hotel or was supposed to be a hotel. What is a little unfortunate is that we have to take this paved road, I think all the way back to our car now, don't we? Yeah. So, so this is it. Doesn't feel appropriate to pass something like this and not take a peek inside. I'm no dummy. I may not be able to read Portuguese, but I can tell that means we can't enter. So we're not going to. It says in English. Oh, it does? Either way. I must admit, this is a rather bitter ending to a very amazing hike. Not the worst, but not ideal. We're almost back to the car and we still caught the sunset. All in all, pretty perfect day. I just remember about, oh, three hours ago. Oh, it'd be nice if we watched the sunset. No, nah, I don't want to be out here that long. It's too good to be true. I can see our car from here. There she blows. I can't believe we did it. And it's not blackout. I think we've decided this is a solid seven all the elevation saved at the end and then you've got this pavement and the road it's just it was amazing i would do it again but i'd say a solid seven i honestly would just do an out and back go to your cool spot come back you know i don't i don't feel like you need to do the loop according to my watch we hiked 15 miles almost exactly for six hours and 24 minutes Wow. Yep, that was, that was a good one, that was a big one. Now we're gonna go eat. We're almost too tired to try and figure out what to eat for dinner. We may just go back, or we may go find some food. Oh my, Lanta. <laughs> it feels so good. 20 minutes later, it's even darker. We didn't find anything extravagantly Portuguese. We're gonna go get burgers and craft beer for three euro. Ooh, okay. We're still gonna be on this island for another couple of days and we'll see what else we can find. Hopefully some hot springs. Good night. Tasted more like a Snickers and I got chocolate all over my butt and all over the seat. Why does this always happen to me? Can you get the chocolate off my butt? Just wash these. I can't take her anywhere. <laughs> <laughs>